Hey, Javon D here, gonna show you how to be an internet DJ using Shoutcast and Winamp. Just on a simple little laptop like this one I got here. Uh, this is kind of a tutorial for BudHub Radio. So I'm just gonna kinda open up the chat room, chuck it on the side over there. So by the time we're done with this little tutorial, you should be able to do full DJing with your chat room on the side, which would be pretty kick ass. So we're going to be uh, using Winamp 5.6 full, Shoutcast DSP 2.35. Going to open up Winamp here. There we go. Yours might look a little different. This is the modern skin I'm using. Shoutcast source DSP off to the side. In the summary area, that'll kind of give you the status of your stream. We're going to go to the Output tab. And I'm using Output 2 in this stream. So uh, in the Login tab below, put in your server address, port, and ID down there. Directory tab. That's what you want uh, the people to see, the info for your stuff. Encoder, this is where you get to select um, if you want MP3 or AAC+. Plus. Um, if you don't get the full version of Winamp and install that, you might not see an option in there. So if you get the full one, it'll come with the encoder codec. And I'm using 192 stereo. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do in there. And you can also save um, your archive to your computer right there when you connect and disconnect um, and that's all you need to do on the output tab in the input area it'll show Winamp as your input input device so whatever is playing in Winamp will go straight over to your streaming server which we're gonna kinda not use that we're gonna use the sound card input and uh, you can see that it picked up my microphone and you can see the levels from my webcam microphone picking up right here. Uh, what we're going to do is actually go down to the sound devices. So I'm going to, you know, right click on the speaker, go to recording devices. I'm just going to bring that over here. And... Uh, a lot of these new computers have the stereo mix option, so we're going to use the stereo mix. Set that as default device. You can see it's now set with the check mark. Back in here, I'm just going to refresh this so the the device just changes from microphone to stereo mix now. So now you can't see my microphone coming over. What I'm going to recommend doing here is also opening up your volume mixer and uh, we're going to bring the volume all the way down and this is the volume that's coming over my speakers of my laptop so um, what we're going to do is go back up to the recording area double click on the microphone and go to listen to this device now if you don't turn your speakers down and you select this and hit apply you might hear a really loud feedback loop so it's just a warning um, oh I closed that I'm going back into the microphone and going to the levels area here and what I'm gonna do is turn the levels down on the microphone so that you won't really hear it when I turn up the audio. So I'm going to go back to the volume mixer. Turn up the audio um, to whatever you think is good. 29 <clears throat> seems like it's good because you, you'll be able to you'll be able to see if it's too hot or too cold on your levels when you start playing music. So I'm going to open up folder. I'm going to go to my music folder, grab a song chuck it in there start playing it okay so that's playing over my laptop speakers here 
but it's going through super blast. As you can see there, if I turn up the volume, it's going to actually take that level up and down. So you got to find out <clears throat> which level is good for you. And so if you come down here, watch what happens to this. Uh, let me go over here to this Winamp level when I move this music level. So I grabbed a hold of that level. I'm going to turn it up to zero. And then uh, I'm going to leave everything else. The mic level, I think that stays up. The background level. So when you click this button, that's going to be how loud the uh, music is, negative 20 dB. So watch. I'm going to hit the button, the lock button, or push to talk. I'm going to hit the lock button. And if you notice, that just moved two faders on the right side of the screen. I'm going to click it again. Click it again. So now, like you can talk over the Bud Hub radio stream with a microphone, hit one button, and then be able to bring up the tunes and bring them down. It's, it's pretty kick-ass. So... I can hear myself back a little bit, I think, on these this little laptop speakers, but it's just low enough so it doesn't feed back and you can kind of hear what's going on and, and be able to DJ and stuff. So come back to the output tab. You can connect to Bud Hub Radio. Go back to your status page if you want, but... If you want to be able to use the mixer, come back to that input tab, hit the lock button, start jamming tunes. Hit the lock button again. Now, if, if you stay on this page and you want just want to hit space bar, you can have, have the space bar work that for you, which is really cool. Let's see if it's coming over. Page if you want, but if you want to be able to use the mixer, come back to the input tab. Again, now if you stay, I'll see streaming over Bud Hub Radio. So I hope you like that uh, tutorial. We got the chat room. We got we got the kick-ass Winamp and a whole mixing console, almost semi-automated. It's pretty sweet. So hope you like the tutorial. If you want to come check out Bud Hub Radio, come on by the site, budhubradio.com. Go to the About page. It'll tell you all about the concept, the music, the chat room. You can take the chat room code and just copy and paste it on your own website. It's sized for like a little... Uh, a little uh, sidebar but you can make a huge one just by adjusting the code a little bit and uh, contact me if you want to do some DJing with us and jamming Be super fun so hope you like that tutorial we'll see you later yeah